Today, I would like to talk about proxies. If you would like to use an anti attack browser, you will have to change your IP address as well. Nowadays, it is very difficult to find a good provider that is also providing a cost-effective solution. Lately, some of the biggest providers just shut their door and their service is not available anymore. Even some users lost some money on the platform. Today, I'm speaking with Evgeny, the CEO of iProxy.online. They have a very special proxy service. Hello, Evgeny. Can you tell and let us know what makes your service special? Yeah, thank you, Tommy, for a nice introduction. Uh, yeah, I'm a head of iProxy Online product. Uh, we are an iProxy app, uh, we are an Android app uh, that uh, helps you to make mobile proxies using just your Android. And uh, for example, our customers, our webmasters have two options. They can buy ready-made proxies or they can make it by themselves. We are responsible for the second part. And that uh, differentiates us from other proxy providers because we don't provide uh, ready-made proxies, but you can make it by yourself. there are different type of proxies like data center, residential, ISP, and mobile proxies. I guess your solution is a mobile proxy, right? And what are the benefits of mobile proxies? Yeah, our solutions, uh, solution is about mobile proxies. But for example, if your Android will be connected to your home Wi-Fi, you will make like a residential proxies. Of course, you will work from your home Wi-Fi. Uh, your public IP will be home Wi-Fi IP. That's, uh, so we are like uh, mainly uh, mobile proxies, but also residential. And about the difference, uh, there are three types of proxies, data center, mobile, and residential. Uh, in a few words, uh, mobile proxies is when you work using mobile IP address. Residential is when you work from your home Wi-Fi IP address. And the data center is when you work uh, with data center IP address. So data center means that you work through the IP address of the server of the data center server. And the ISP means uh, internet service provider uh, will be this data center. And for example, if you visit Facebook or Amazon from this uh, public IP, they will see that you, you are working from uh, data center uh, ISP provider. And uh, Facebook will determine that you mainly uh, change your IP address. 
because of ISP, just uh, like because of the ISP. And about if you work, if you work, for example, by residential proxies, Facebook will see you work like from like a usual normal user uh, from home Wi-Fi, and uh, that's best quality proxies. And if you connect uh, to any website using your mobile IP, that's uh, nor normal behavior of uh, an usual customer of usual uh, user visitor and uh, that's uh, the best quality too so mobile proxy and residential proxies in the quality they are the best and the uh, data center like uh, quality uh, it's worse but there are differences not, not only about the quality, the speed can be different, uh, the change IP can be different. I can tell you more, <laughs> just ask. <laughs> okay, okay, so these, you mentioned this change IP. So let's say I have three old Android phones. I would like to set them up with iBroxy.online. How many IP addresses can I actually access with this? Uh, it, it depends on your uh, mobile Career mobile provider because in a, in different countries uh, you we have different mobile carriers they have different pool of IP addresses and uh, we can't impact on it we just uh, we just a mobile app and we take your traffic from your Android and put it to proxies and what what IP address is provided by your mobile carrier and that's IP that this IP will be in proxies. And if you want to count how many you will have in your audience where you live, uh, the, you can do a simple test. Just install a proxy app, uh, install remote change IP. You uh, set up rotation, for example, every five minutes with a proxy and keep your device online. Just for example, 24, 48 hours. Then you go to a proxy dashboard, go to IP history, download it and you can count how many different IP addresses you had during this time. And okay, so where are you sitting right now? I'm Which sitting country? Uh, I'm sitting in Kazakhstan. And uh, like with your ISP, how many, like like thousands, like 10,000, 100,000 uh, of IPs? How much uh, can you? Uh, say so honestly <laughs> i didn't make my this test from my side because uh, i don't need it but uh, we recommend this to our audience and uh, and they do it we, we must uh, uh, i think uh, make an article about this yeah or we can also link in the description yeah and uh, for example if you access uh, your your website with the ip address that has been used before uh, that's okay because uh, the pool of IP addresses, mobile IP addresses, is very limited, and uh, uh, people who use this mobile internet really, uh, really a lot, and uh, that, that's why that's normal when uh, a lot of users uh, walk or visit website from one from the same IP address. Okay. Okay. Now we should explore your, your pricing. Uh, why we find a solution to use case I just brought with me. So let's say I'm an affiliate marketer. I have three media buyers in my team. My team manages like thousands of profiles, online profiles, but each of my colleagues uh, work with just one profile at the same time. We need a good proxy solution for this. So what is the what price can we calculate if we choose iProxy.online? Um, okay, that's really interesting question. Uh, I think uh, um, it depends on any on any person on any webmaster, but uh, we recommend and uh, to work uh, using one proxy if you run one profiles at the same time. So, for example, if you run three profiles at the same time, uh, so you you must have three mobile proxies for this one person. Uh, in in your example. One person works with one uh, uh, with one profile at the same time. Three persons, so just three three proxies. You you need to buy three mobile proxies. And about the benefits of uh, iProxy, about the cost-effective policy, uh, is uh, you just pay to your mobile carrier, mobile operator, uh, the price of SIM card each month, and uh, and uh, and you pay to us from six to ten US dollars monthly. So that's uh, very cheap 
and it's cheaper than if you rent it by somewhere by someone else because uh, they add their salary <laughs> other expenses and um, when you do it by yourself this that's uh this the price of mobile proxies will be just on six or ten us dollars more than mobile carrier that's really cheap okay so it looks a really cost effective solution uh, you mentioned this ip change several times so um the virtual browser profiles in camellio can be fully automated from uh, from programming code you can create profiles and start the browser with our api and you can drive those browsers with automation frameworks. But let's say I set up 100 phones with your proxy and I run 100 virtual browser profiles at the same time on my server. Can I somehow automate the IP change every time I open a new virtual browser profile? Uh, for this, uh, the easiest solution is uh, the URL to change the IP address. And for example, uh, you you started your first profile you did some work then you close your profile and click change ip you can automate it just wait for for example five seconds and start your next profile the other thing for uh, those who works like this with a lot of profiles uh, autom with automation tools uh, they usually use rotation for example uh, change ip every five or ten minutes that's uh, also possible so yeah, we, we can do that. Okay, it's a nice solution. Uh, I'd, I'd like to add that in the nearest future, we plan to add uh, the next feature, for example, uh, how to change the IP address uh, without uh, waiting these five uh, seconds. So okay. uh, we, 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 we will make like a cluster, uh, like for example, two, uh, we will have one, um, one extra device for change IP. And for example, when you need to change IP, we will instantly change this and we will just work from another Android. And the first Android will uh, toggle airplane mode. And so change IP will work uh, instantly. We will do it, this very soon. It can be very handy, yes. So um, one thing which is probably not clear. So let's say I live in Germany. I can get German uh, mobile carriers. So I can get German IPs. What if I need proxies from the US? Can I have them with your platform? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, we have two options for this. Uh, the first option, if you have a friend or colleague in the US, uh, you may ask him to install our app and to share proxies with you. And we have a lot of teams uh, who, who do like this. <laughs> we really have such people. And uh, the second thing, uh, we have a list of trustworthy uh, mobile proxy providers. This is our iProxy customers who makes uh, really big mobile proxy firms. They have uh, uh, hundreds of Android de devices online and they can sell you mobile proxies uh, and also from the USA too. Yeah, I understand. You mentioned these big farms. Uh, can you uh, show us a picture later in this video about how these farms look like or what was the biggest farm you ever see? I can just imagine phones connected to the charger, like should be some uh, cooling system as well. Yeah, uh, I, I, I will send, send you a picture. You will be able to add this uh, to, to our interview. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I didn't see in real life, but I know our customers are at some cooling system. They do really cool mobile proxy farms. For example, I have a customer. Um, he has uh, more than 500 uh, devices, uh, but but he doesn't keep it at the, at the same place. So it, it in one office he had, uh, I don't know when I, when I was in his office, he had 100 uh, devices but uh, so i can make you i can give you a picture of 100 devices yeah okay i understand i have one last question can you provide any discount to our users so they can try your service easier yeah sure um basically we have a free trial for all our users when they uh, sign up uh, two days will be provided for free but uh, when they will need to pay uh, using camellio uh, discount code we will provide for example let's say 
50% off for any tariff uh, during the first months after this video will be published. And after this time, it will be 15% off. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for being here and telling. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I'd like to add uh, some information at the start of our video. Uh, uh, the question was about types of proxies. Uh, mobile, static, and uh, data center and residential. And the difference is um, about the speed. For example, uh, data center uh, proxies, are, in my opinion, their speed is better than mobile proxies or residential. And, and at, this at this category, they win. And about the change IP, data center doesn't have, doesn't support change IP. And about uh, mobile pro proxies, they have change IP option, and that's very convenient. And it works like uh, with Android devices in our case, the, uh, the Android just toggle airplane mode on and off. Mobile proxies win the, the competition in the change IP category. And about the residential, uh, how it works, you're connected to, 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 a, to a laptop, somewhere in the target country where you bought these proxies but if you want to change the ip you can't you can't uh, send the command a remote command to his home wi-fi router to change the ip address and it works like as a provider of residential proxies he uh, switches you from this uh, supplier to another laptop and that's why the ip changes and uh, that's why the speed of uh, proxies can be changed because one one laptop will have better speed of internet another will be will has lower speed of internet but that's how the technology exists and that's how change ip works i i hope this information was helpful for the audience to understand i think it was all the information was very useful for our community to understand proxies more and i hope that it encourages them to try your service as it is unique on the market we also really like it so thank you Evgeny for being here and sharing all this knowledge thank you thank you for for having me here